In this video, I'm going to read some of the Marvel Studios storybook on how they cast John Favreau to direct the Iron Man movie. We got to know John when he played Foggy and Daredevil, said Avi Arad. I liked all the movies directed, but I was most impressed with Sarutra. So many of my friends' kids saw that film five or six times, and I kept hearing how much they loved it. John is a great storyteller and smart filmmaker with a deep love and appreciation for the Marvel brand and Iron Man character. Also, to pull this film off, off we, re we really needed a director who was tuned in what was going on in the world today. Kevin Feige said, Hiring Favreau at the time was an unexpected choice. Going back to my experience watching Sony and Lawrence Ziskin and Avi hire Sam Raimi or Fox hire Brian Singer, those were not people who had just come out with a giant blockbuster and were now doing their next. They were filmmakers who'd done super interesting movies on a lesser scale, coming into a bigger platform. I think that's always been the way we like to bring in filmmakers. This is something about Kevin Feige I really like as a producer, as how he doesn't hire people who just have made successful films. He hires people who have a dedication to the character and the story they're telling and know how to tell a good story that has meaning and impact on the watchers of the movie. Favreau saw it as a great opportunity. I grew up reading Marvel comics, he said. It's an exciting challenge to direct Iron Man, because he's the biggest character in the original pantheon of the Marvel Universe, who has never had a movie made about him. I come from the independent film world, and what I like to think that I bring to the table is the ability to tell a story in a simple, relatable way that brings out the humor and situations as well as the humanity of the characters. One of the great assets of Marvel Comics is that the heroes are very human and flawed. Marvel began when the iconography of the superhero was larger than life. They were usually flawless paradigms of integrity, but Marvel changed the landscape by creating superheroes with their own shortcomings and recognizable humanity that is enjoyable and interesting to explore. This is something I appreciate about John Favreau as an, a director, and sometimes an actor, is that he sees characters not as perfect people who has everything right, but they have flaws and they have different reactions to certain situations. It then says, he felt it's important to make a movie comic book fans would love. What the studios had done typically is ignore the core fans because they only represent a small fraction of the fan potential audience and focus on the mainstream audience, said Favreau. Time and time again, it's been proven that the studio cares about making money. It's their job. They want to take the source material and use it to make it as appealing as possible to the broadest possible audience, while costing the least to make and making the most profit. I definitely feel as a fan there was a responsibility to stay true to the expectations of the fans, said Favreau. That doesn't always mean doing what's in the source material but it means considering it and making decisions not because of what you want to change something, but because you think it serves the material the best, Feige said. I 100% completely agree with what they're saying, because comic books, they might have some of the greatest stories, but sometimes their stories are alright, and that's when the filmmakers come in, and they might be able to twist the story because maybe the story worked 20 years ago, but now, it's a different world, so you have to change the story to make it fit in better and improve the story in many ways. Kevin Feige then says, We've always said we're replicating the experience of reading the comics on a big stage, and it has to work for people who read those comics and know what their experience is like, but it also needs to work for people who never opened a comic in their lives, that we know the sensation we're going to try to evoke in the audience gives us an advantage. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching if you did and listening. If you want more of these kinds of videos, let me know. And if you don't, also let me know so I can change my kinds of videos so that suits you better. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.